a body has been discovered! Hello, beautiful people. David here with some more Danganronpa 2. Goodbye to Spare. And, you know, I'm... I'm in a good mood. We just had a, a very fun time, you know, wrapping up our hope fragments with with, uh, with Sonia, and we got our underwear, and you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles, I suppose. But for now, we are getting- the plot is slowly thickening. Now we're at the diner with Kazuichi staking out where when the ladies show up to the beach, and so it's time to see who showed up because somebody stopped by. See who this certain somebody is. Huh? huh? Isn't that? I wonder what happened. I guess I should head over. Hmm. I like how there's like that person. Like it's all so cryptic. Who's it gonna be? Oh, of course. What? Had a feeling, honestly. You bastards. I knew it was you, Fuhiko. What are you doing here? Shut the hell up. That's my line. <laughs> hey, hey. What the heck? You're awfully tense. Actually, why do you see someone flustered? Who are you calling flustered? Don't you go making false ac accusations, you bastard. Don't you know this diner's my safe space? It makes me feel good. I get a burger. It's great. Manomi always makes it with extra mushrooms and no onions, just the way my mama did. Huh? Tell me. Oh, man. Is that it? You overheard my plan, didn't you? Huh? You f It's too early in the episode. God damn it. You, you idiot, Kazuichi. It's no use playing dumb! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You ever heard my plan and followed us all the way here, right? Hello! Hey, what are you doing at this place? Oh my mom! That's a strange combo! <laughs> Hello! She was talking about my burger with the waffle fries. Hello, um, today is another wonderful day. Well, Mikan is Monokuma confirmed? Hello everyone! Today is looking to be another beautiful day! You see what I'm seeing, right? Got my eye on you, Mikan, even though you're getting cuter by the minute. You are done for! You're not gonna get away now that I've caught you. What? Well, I got so nervous I ended up blurting out something weird. What? What? Hold on. You're not gonna get away now that I've caught you. I got so nervous I ended up blurting out something weird. Okay, my gut instinct that was suspicious about her, it just got like a couple times more suspicious. You're not getting away? Please don't hate me, I'll take as much the punishment as much as you'd like. Look, I'm all good for punishments and stuff, but that, that, that line is not a line I can let slide. Wow. Is she bad? Is Mikan bad? Is she the traitor? No, she wouldn't be the traitor. The traitor would be intelligent. I mean, I'm saying she's not, but... I feel like the traitor wouldn't be blurting out stuff like that. Oh, uh, you two, this is such a coincidence! Oh my god, you, you're so stupid. I never expected to coinc- Oh my god, my guy. <laughs> Thank you, Hajime. Well... Actually, Hajime and I were about to head to the beach together. Oh my. Oh, could it be that time we were- Oh my god, you're so bad! At this! Oh my god, look, I, I'm not saying I approve of what he's doing, but in the first place. But man, is he stupid! Oh my god. It even seems like destiny! Aww. Something's obviously suspicious. Your eyes are moving around like salmon before they lay eggs. And I love watching salmon lay eggs. Did you know that salmon eggs are called row? <laughs> it's like kind of like when I go down the stream. Row, because I row, row, row them up gently down the stream. Speaking of stream, I'm thinking about doing music. Okay, Jesus Christ, Ibuki. Uh, I'm always like this. Oh, uh, how should I put it? I pay attention to my surroundings. I can't keep watching this. <laughs> <sighs> As I sighed and looked away from that embarrassing sight, I realized that he had disappeared. Where did Fuhiko go? Well... Well, regardless, you two arrived pretty early. Oh my god. This man... Oh... Oh my god! Is, is he seriously saying this right now? <laughs> it's only 3.30pm, you still have about 30 minutes until you... <laughs> 
The cringe! Oh, the cringe! It went from being like whatever to hurting. It actually hurts. Oh my god. I can't! I can't! I'm, I'm, I'm literally, I literally live in another dimension than these characters and I'm feeling it over here. Um, why do you know where you were going to meet with the others? Oh, oof! That's what we say to that in this era. And you even know our damn meeting time? Uh, poor Hajime getting wrapped into the- Oh, yeah, uh, God, soda, man. Hmm. Oh, no, uh, please, let's see. For now. Oh, 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 you're so bad at this. Oh, you're so bad at this. I can't even say the line. Anyway, let's cherish the coincidence that brought us together, so is it okay if we join in too? <laughs> oh my god, how dense is he? Wow, he got forceful all of a sudden. Aww. So, so that's your ulterior motive. You're probably here for Miss Sonia, aren't ya? Well, I really have no desire to do something so rude. I, like, decline the offer at all. Wait, what? Wait, are you saying you have no desire to decline his offer? Cause you fucked up, Mikan. Like I said, I'll split open your back and put a spine in there. Cause you need a spine! Gosh, I am like this girl's cheerleader. Like, it doesn't even, like, I don't even know. Sonia was the plan, one who planned to go to the beach, so we need to ask her. Oh, great. Of course. Then it's all good. It's too devastating to think that Miss Sonia would decline, so I just won't think it, I mean... Unfortunately, because I'm in her good graces, she'll probably will be okay with it. Is he being an optimist or a pessimist? I really don't get it. Yeah, hey, hey. my guy. It's all right if we go inside now. Ibuki was gonna eat a good meal first. That's why I came early. <laughs> Let's wait inside. I didn't take my mind off you, Hiko. Oh well, I've come this far. I can't turn back now. I'm gonna go back to my burger and the waffle fries. <sighs> I actually went to Chick-fil-A the other day. It was so good. That's why I'm thinking about waffle fries. An army marches on its stomach while swimmers can only splash around on their stomachs, too. I'm gonna hardly eat a hamburger with a side of rice. Side of rice? Is, ri is rice a side dish? Wait, is there even rice here? Is rice a side dish? Okay, we're in Japan. I get it. I get it. I get it. I like, rice is the side dish, but whatever. I get it. I get it. Mikan! Mew! Hi, okay, 151st Pokemon. Yeah, he's really rare. I always say something stupid when I get nervous. I'm not doing it on purpose. Like, I caught you all? Like, what What even? Are I gonna get you or not gonna let you get away? That's what I'm concerned about, Mikan! Alright. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure. Oh my god, let's, let's go. I love how I'm helping, I guess, wingman this guy for a girl that I know probably will never be interested in him and who I already shacked up with. I feel like that alone is the premise for a show. I returned to the office of the diner and sat myself at the table near the window once again. <sighs> Not thinking, I couldn't help but let out a big sigh. <laughs> oh, what are you, gonna, you guys gonna do about your swimsuits? You aren't allowed to change in that beach house, you know? They're not? Oh, right, 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 they're not. Yes, that's why we're already wearing them. <laughs> What's underneath the uniform is in panties. It's a swimsuit. Well, I know, I know Sonya's not wearing panties. <laughs> of course. Oh, well, that's obvious. I also came wearing a swimsuit too. Really? Uh... Reminds me, you're not wearing yours yet, huh? Then you gotta go to the bathroom so you can change. Here you go. This is yours. A camo thong. <laughs> Maybe you're gonna be the same. It looks a bit too daring. Are you serious? What if something falls out? If this is airing live, you're totally gonna get censored by the network. Oh, I'm sure whoever hijacked the airwaves this time is A-OK -okay with it. <laughs> Don't worry, even at its worst, it won't turn into a live action drama. That's not the problem. What is it then? Are you telling me you don't want to match with me? Oh great, I did not need to know that he was wearing that. It's matching? Then I definitely don't want to wear it. I believe fighting is bad, so let's stop. <laughs> Things are heating up something fierce. Where's everyone come? Where's everyone gonna come? 
When's everyone gonna come? I hope they come soon. Uh, peek out the window. Oh! Look outside! Outside! What's outside? Isn't that Hyoko? Uh, that is Hyoko. Man, why... Whoever drew this, why did they put so much emphasis on her freaking leg? One leg! Just jutting out like that. It almost looks like it's not even part of her. It looks like a, a, a weird protrusion. It almost doesn't go. Can you still get my hopes up? I thought it was Miss Sonia. <sighs> Doesn't she seem a little strange? She always is strange. If I had to describe it as a song title, it'd be Sprint of Tears. Let me guess, Mahiru is dead at the beach. Huh? It looks like she's running from the beach. Did something happen? Mm-hmm. All right. Huh? Wasn't she part of the beach crew? How, how cool would it be if she ended up being, like, like she was being nice and sisterly with Mahiru the whole time so that she could get her away and kill her eventually? That'd be really awesome. Wasn't she part of the- wasn't she part of the beach crew? Apparently she can't swim, so she turned us down. Ooh. Isn't she just coming from running from the beach? I don't know all the details about that. Well, it just means women are full of surprises. Aww. My hero's the type to totally come, but she surprisingly turned us down too. Oh my god, she's dead in the thing. And they're setting it up so it looks like Hyoko killed her, which means she probably didn't. Although, I do think my theory is really cool. Hmm. Did you turn it down? So unexpected for her not to join an event like this. In fact, she totally planned this sort of thing. That's totally it! But it can't be helped. Apparently, she wasn't really feeling well. Um, I'd be sorry to continue this topic, but why was Yoko crying? Hmm. She's sprinting away from the beach and crying. Something's definitely hey. wrong. Whoa! Did you get here so suddenly? Hmm. Is it her? Oh. Hey, Jackie! My, my. How disappointing. I thought if I came early, I'd be the first one to arrive. <laughs> oh. I couldn't keep myself from staring like an idiot. Cause you got no self-control! Whoa, Chiaki! You came wearing only your swimsuit! Yay! I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did, it'd be a serious burden. Mm-hmm. Serious burden? That's a total exaggeration. But even though you didn't want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. She's still got her backpack on. Instead of bringing lunch for everyone, I brought ice cream. Ice cream! Well, why would anyone bring lunch? You're by a freaking diner, which apparently has food, because we saw Fihiku eating a burger, and I'm eating waffle fries. Um, it's not like I'm gonna turn it down, but ice cream is completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a. Also, I was thinking. Wow, I totally cut her off. Together, Substitute. So I brought a board game too. Oh, she's so cute. Hmm. Should we play it even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. <laughs> That's like the most appropriate ellipses reaction I've seen from her. I see. That's disappointing. Oh. Wow, she actually has personality in this, like, bit of dialogue. <sighs> <sighs> but how should I say this? Is this what Gap Moe is supposed to be? I don't even know what that means. And don't tell me! I don't want to know! <laughs> is someone normally so quiet to wear such a daring swimsuit? It makes you a little side right hatching me. Not really. She's not really my type. Well, um, I don't know. That's what I said, but my heartbeat was actually getting faster and faster. Is Hajime crushing on Chiaki? Like, are they- are they the ship? I don't know what this means, but are like the are they the ship? I don't know what this means. <laughs> Seriously, man, I never expected Shocky to have such huge jugs. <laughs> you know, for all the ice cream <laughs> jugs. Hey, hey, hey! I didn't say that just now. He was Hajime. He's a perfect. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> I mean, I only have eyes for Miss Sonya. I've dreamt about going out with a blonde lady ever since I was a kid. You know, 
Kazuichi and I weirdly have a lot in common, but he just ended up coming- he just came out wrong. You know, it's like- it's like uh, when you're making cupcakes and you have this delicious, like, cake base, like, it's like funfetti, you know? And you put it in, and then you take it out of the oven, and you're getting ready to frost everything, and one comes out great, and then the other one just gets stuck in there and comes out a crumbled mess. It's made of the same stuff, but it's just one came out wrong. <laughs> and I think soda came out wrong. Uh, the size is a little small, but this was the only swimsuit that fit me. Hey, hey. I don't look good in it. Oh no, you look fine. I, I guess you look good. Can't you see? Just... Thanks. Okay, good. She took that right. So, make people feel good about themselves, damn it. I love her little clip, too. <laughs> Mwah! Wearing a bikini sure is daring. You get bonus points for wearing a white one. My heart's not just thumping. It's thumping all sporadically. But, but I'm thump, thump, but I'm... It's probably a heart attack. <laughs> God, I said this the other day, but I love Hajime and Buki's lines, like, together. Because every time he makes a comment after she says something, it just it punctuates it so damn well. I really love the writing, specifically for these two characters when they're in scenes together. Yeah. Hey, hey, I kept you waiting. Oh my god, is that, is that, is that Sonya? Oh no, it's a Kane, of course. Whoa, is that blood? Hey, that's pink. Hey. Keep you guys waiting. Isn't pink blood? <gasps> Akane! What happened to you? Yeah, my question is exactly. Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. Uh huh. Not that. Your wounds. It, it wouldn't be strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now. <laughs> nice line. Uh, oh, you're talking about these. <laughs> On my way over here, I happened to run into Coach Nekomaru. Oh, do they spar? And when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? That's awesome. Why does she have to do that? Uh, are you really alright? Your head, it looks like it's split in half. Oh, I've seen worse. Well, it'll heal as long as I rub some spit in it, right? <laughs> She's cool. You're totally playing up the power of human spit. <laughs> I'm all fired up now. I never knew such a strong opponent even existed. Oh, yeah. Goku! <laughs> need to be treated. And also, you need your wound sterilized. But I have a feeling this whole beach shit, uh, trip is gonna unravel. Akane, please come with me. In an unusually forceful demeanor, Mikan pulled Akane into the bathroom. <laughs> it's like she's the ultimate nurse. Well, it's gonna be okay if we leave it to her. Hey. What is all this ruckus? All right. Who is it this time? It's definitely Peko. Peko Yama, because I'm guessing they're saving Sonya for last to keep, you know, Kazuichi Soda's, you know, to keep his pop rocket from going off. Yeah, I had a feeling it would be her. Mm -hmm. Oh, her hair looks good down. Hmm. Hajime, Kazuichi, why you two here? Why not? We, we, burger. And waffle fries! How many times do I need to <laughs> Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? So maybe she ran, or maybe she was practicing. I just did a little swimming. Or that. A little swimming? I swam around the island for about three hours. Oh, duh. That's metal as fuck. That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Psst. Why were you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? Yeah, but swimming for recreation and hanging out is so different than swimming for training. Come on. It wasn't for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Oh, whoa, that's dope. Huh? But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. Oh, I guess the bridges are long then? I feel like it's realistic that she would be able to find the other islands. If you didn't see anything after you swam for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. I'm surprised she didn't get eaten by sharks. Yeah, that may be true. Hmm. Hey. Hajime. What? Awesome! A woman with what slicked back hair is pretty fine too, huh? 
Oh my god. Oh my my! This body too, man. I Ibuki's raving bisexuality is something I'm here for. Oh, really? We're, we we didn't need a Your sweeping sure well bottom-up pan. Come on, game. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? <laughs> Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Good God. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone. Bro, oh, Ibuki, I'm sure you're your beautiful natty. Don't say such asinine things. There you go, Pecco. <laughs> anyway, it looks like everyone's almost here, and it's already past 4 p.m. So all that's left is. I am terribly sorry for my delay. Oh, great. <laughs> Watch her be wearing like something else. <laughs> Miss Ernie's here. It's double down on excitement. Why are you surprised? Like, they've been playing this up the whole freaking time. Uh, All right, what kind of sexy swimsuit is Miss Ernie wearing? She's probably wearing something from the Navasalik Kingdom. Something that one would wear with Makanga. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It's a wetsuit. Oh, that's really cute. I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. That actually really makes sense. Because her, and she, and probably everyone from her country, if they're all like that pale, they probably do need to create swimsuits that are like, that wear swimsuits that are like that. That's really interesting. However, as I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. Never mind. <laughs> So she hasn't worn one. Really? It is my bad. Oh my god. The delivery of that line, though. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, she looks super cute. I see a wetsuit. Oh, Miss Sonia does have beautiful white skin. Don't say it like that. Miss Sonia! But that tight outfit of hers is amazing! Just what I'd expect from a 100% purebred princess. Ugh! This guy, he's quick to recover. Hmm. Um. Anyway, <laughs> why are you two here? Uh. I'll answer that, Miss Sonia. Oh, will you? I'll be honest. We're going to the beach. Please let us come with you. I am concerned. Well, this was originally supposed to be an all-girls-only outing to strengthen our friendship with each other. Uh. Oh, do you think you make an exception? Pretty please. Oh, you're so pathetic. Well, it's okay. It's not like there'd be any problems, even if there are some boys. Then... Right. <laughs> I almost gave her the same boys. <laughs> you're right. They came all the way here. It would be bad if we made them leave. Oh, you're so <gasps> nice. Oh, God. God. <laughs> Miss Sonia's just so kind. Yeah, well, guess who has her underwear? Alright! <laughs> Alright, now that it's decided, let's get going! And Connie's wounds are still being treated. Shut up! Shut up! Oh my god, chill! I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks! Engine's revving! No problems, it'll give him all to serve you, so everyone has fun! You know, the diner plan was so stupid! If he really wanted to do this thing, we should have gotten a picnic table and just chilled on the beach! That way, at least Hajime could have gotten a tan. I would have said I could have gotten tan, but I mean. I kind of got an all year tan, but pulled it out of the diner. Um. <laughs> you need to stop having these dial up moments, Chiagi. I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is a little awkward. Have you never been surrounded by girls in swimsuits before, dude? Oh my god. Go, go. Didn't you go to high school? Oh, I know he's in high school right now. Okay, whatever. I guess I should help Kazuichi too. Am I the only one so desensitized? Then again, I was a theater kid. People were changing around me all the freaking time. I am pretty sure my hero is dead at the beach or in the beach house. And it's going to look like Hiyoki did it. But reality, what she probably did was find her and ran off, or saw her get killed and ran off, or she killed her and ran off. 
<laughs> but the crying is making me think she may have not killed her this time. However, I do still think, like I said earlier, that it would be a really cool twist if she ended up b being fake, because it would be in character for her, to the point where she could isolate me, my hero, in and kill her. Let's find out. I've called three-ish things, so let's see if I'm right about any of them. And the, it starts with her being dead there. Let's see if that happens. To the beach! I'm ready! Show me something good! You know, I was only gonna record two episodes, but I was really into this. Ding dong dong ding? Ding dong dong ding? That's not a thing! That bell's just now. Could it be? A body has been discovered! So we know Hyoki, Hyoko? Okay, so we know Hyoko has seen it. We know... Um... Um, sorry. We know Mahiru. No, sorry. We know Hyoko has seen it. We know whoever murdered the victim has seen it. Who would be the third person who has discovered the body? Also, I really hope Sonya didn't kill her. She was the last to show up. And she's wearing a wetsuit. Which may have been to prevent blood from getting... Well, then again, it would be covered in blood. So then... Maybe she murdered someone in her plain clothes and then got blood on her, but then changed into the wetsuit after. I hope that's not the case, Sonya. We just got to, like, whatever base. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed... The class trial will begin! <laughs> I was waiting for this. I'm kind of glad they picked this timing because I'm really unbalanced. I thought it was going to be us discovering the body, but no. A body? That's a lie. Impossible. Someone, someone come here! Oh no. Who said that? Was that Soda? Oh my god, it was. Oh, he ran off. Okay, so it was Hyoko, Soda, and whoever murdered... Mahiru! Oh god, are you dead, Mahiru? <laughs> Was it on the beach or in the beach? House. Okay, I guess it's in the beach house. Did I call it? Did I call it? Come on, come on, come on! Alright. The moment I stepped in the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered into pieces! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? What? Where are you at? Okay, this is really sad, though. This was all a dream. Hmm. When did I- when did I begin dreaming? This is reality. Why is Mahiru on the floor covered in blood? I couldn't understand anything that was... Okay, my brain's already racing. I can't stop it. I'm trying to read these lines and my brain is already off to the races. <laughs> okay, Hiyoko ran away. She was crying. Either she did it out of passion. Maybe she regretted it. Maybe she didn't do it. Kazuichi saw it. Hiyoko saw it. And then the murderer saw it. It's gotta be three people. Mmm. And I couldn't believe anything. And there's a little mask! A little cute mask! See and punishment. Sins and coconuts. Heck, I just hope it wasn't Sonya. That's all I hope. Mahiru Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality. She's actually very good at taking care of people. I also thought she was Mukuro Ikusaba, because who knows what they were retconning. I didn't know exactly when this game was taking place. And the freckles made me think it was <laughs> uh, old uh, Mukuro. She was always straightforward. Toward us, towards herself. She was always facing all forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mahiru? Why? Oh, and I can't make any more Mahiru Academia jokes! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why did this happen to her? The muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Dark and darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble and I instinctively placed my head against the wall. Damn it! Or hand. I don't know what he said. Hey, Hachime. Before this, we were having a great time, right? 
We were excited about going to the beach. We were having a lot of fun. But why? Are you kidding me? Why did something like this happen? Someone tell me. I just don't know what's going on either. Oh. Huh? Um. Uh, wow, you look with it. Uh-huh, where's the scream? I'm gonna guess it's gonna be the bubble face animation. Yeah! <laughs> you guys ever play Mario Sunshine? <laughs> That's the sound he... That's the sound Mario makes when he gets electrocuted. He literally goes like... <laughs> Alright, anyway, I'm done. Now's the time to make bubbles! Hurry, get to the others! Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. That was just a quarter dropping. Hey, they had time to change and whatnot. It must- Oh god, why am I using his- Kazuichi's voice? It must have taken some time, but I don't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off. My senses started to return, and around the time, uh, around the time, I realized the others were already here. Huh? What the hell is this? Okay, your clothes are back on. <laughs> yeah, why am I here? Oh wait, yeah, huh? Yeah, why are their clothes back? On? Like this. Oh, I'm guessing their clothes aren't back on. They're just using these because they didn't want to redraw assets. <laughs> For heaven's sake, what in the world is going on? Oh, She was just talking about how she doesn't want anyone to die. Yeah, I mean, their pale faces intact, the girls began wobbling towards the beach house. Until a voice stopped them. Hold it. Hold on a sec. Hmm. Those things beneath you, be careful not to step on them. Yeah, what happened to nobody dying, Chiagi? You know, the footprints in front of that door. There are footprints leading out the beach house, right? That's probably an important clue. That may be Hiyoki, cause she, Hiroki, cause she saw it. We don't step on them. Huh? You mean evidence? Monokuma mentioned in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we will hold a class trial. What the? Another class trial? Why is this a surprise? You serious? Well, are you are you saying this is? That's right. One of you guys killed her! Life. Killed? That's impossible! Hey, hey! It's not like an a accident or something? Like... If you guys think that's an accident, that still means this death was caused by somebody else. Someone else's actions, right? In other words... This also counts as a legitimate murder. Though such deaths fall into a gray area, on this island, I'll make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. <laughs> well, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island, not when Monomi takes such good care of people. <laughs> no. What's this? Oh, speaking of which, I got a drop kicker real quick. There it is, the silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. Well, fine, I'm not gonna lose to your bashing. I've decided to become a tough kid. This is the worst. Once again, this horrible nightmare. Another victim, and it's all because of Monokuma. No way! Jeez, it's not my fault. I'm just the factory arranger. Uh-huh, the news fault. Oh. The news fault is it, you ask? Yeah. To find out, we hold the class trial. So... Let's begin already. No whining, just begin already. It's the Monokuma file! Okay, I shall pass out the Monokuma file number two. This should start for, to feel familiar. Do your best. To investigate. I'll see you at the class at the later. At the, y y you know what I'm saying. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love being me. Alright. Class trial. Investigation. This is horrible. It's just too... I want to hug Manomi so bad right now. She did not deserve this. She is the real victim of all this. Well, and the people who are getting murdered, but... 
like, uh, this is just so heartbreaking to see her so sad about this. I feel like she genuinely wanted everyone to have a good life. Hey! You should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Don't you have that kind of power? I did have the power before he appeared. But he, bro he broke my stick. Perhaps. Even if she tried to stop it, judging from Monokuma and Monomi's relationship, there's no doubt she'd get stopped herself. Yes, Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are his ears, but they can only hear about three times that of a normal person. So basically, you have no idea what's going on in this island in the first place. I'm the worst. A powerful ass rabbit like me is the worst. No. Hey, now's not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? Do we have to do it again? That cruel thing. We have to do it again. Why? Cannot believe it. My hero was killed by one of us. Damn it! Uh, I can't do this anymore. Investigating class trials. Seriously, I'm done. Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except do it. And there's no way we can just ignore the reason my hero was killed. Hey. Yeah. The only thing we can do is investigate. Cause it's bad. We should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Chiaki. Well? The killer has their reasons, I understand that. It was the same for Terra Terra, too. It's really all Monokuma's fault, I understand that, too. But even so, um, we should never I'll forgive never allow it. killing. She usually has her head in the clouds, so for her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. Yeah, what gave you the first clue? But that's true of me, too. Understood. Regardless, everyone's going to die if we don't do it. In order for us all to survive, we must do it. do it. Then let's do this! Perhaps. The hero probably wants us to do this, too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> I understand. If everyone's doing it, I'll do, but... Please give me a little time. Please give me a time to kill myself. And also, I will go and tell the others who want to hear about this. <laughs> Excuse me. You're right, and if all you, if you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. <laughs> She'll excuse myself for now. Hey. Part of me really likes her, but also, like, there's still that smidge in me that just doesn't trust her, and I don't know why. It's just like an itch, you know? Hmm. Let's begin. I still not- I don't have enough information to know who killed her. Who killed Mahiro Koizumi? Why was she killed? Why was she killed? We gotta find out and solve this already. That's right, we have to do it. It's the only way. I'm gonna do this, but that's the reason for us to finish this. I'm the only one who could do this. Okay, well, you're not the only one. I mean, you are because I'm playing as him, but I don't think it's a good mindset. The victim is Mahiro Koizumi. Estimated time of death is around 3 p.m. Oh, that tracks. So that was before a lot of the girls showed up. Honestly, it tracks with when Hiyoki ran away. So it's possible Hiyoki did it, but or Hiroki, whatever. Yeah, fuck. Um, but it's just it seems so obvious, and she's crying. So either she did it, and she's just messed up in the head, and she didn't want to do it. Or it was self-defense, my hero was gonna kill her, and then she did. Or what I my gut is saying is that I'm pretty sure it's like it's so obvious that and she was crying. Maybe she saw the murder happen and just ran away, you know, because she was terrified, and she didn't know anyone was in the diner. So to you know, to see her, so I think she just ran. Um and it would track because that would mean she saw it. Kazuichi saw it, and then the person that killed saw it. Because I believe it's rule of three, right? So, we shall see. The scene of the crime where the body is discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. Cause death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. Also, what's interesting is that it's a similar death to what was portrayed in the game, the arcade game. So someone did the motive, saw the motive. And the thing is, I feel like this has something to do with 
when we saw Mahiru on our way to the arcade machine, which means somebody else played it. Hm. So clearly, we weren't meant to play the game. We weren't meant to play that game. Yeah, we weren't meant to play that game at all. I think somebody else was meant to play that game, and they got the idea it was related to that because they basically emulated the murder in the arcade game. Hmm. No other conspicuous external injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. Around 3 p.m., that's the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner and the beach house instead. No, now it's not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. Yeah, if we went straight to the beach, like I thought would be a better idea, we might have actually caught this happening. Who would have a baseball bat, though? Okay. Hmm. Alright, uh, first things first. Uh, how you doing, babe? Perhaps. She would want us to reveal the truth. However. She probably wanted to spend time with all of us peacefully without something like- Yeah, 100%. Ibuki. Mahiru, 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 Mahiru. This is too weird. Something this weird should only happen in small lyrics. Hmm. I'll never forgive killing. Hmm. Chucky seemed quite different from her usual self. She must feel very strongly about killing. That, it's just not Chiaki. There's no way anyone would forgive something like this. I guess you're right. Hmm. Plot thickens. It's suspicious, I think. I wonder what got got to her. Hmm. I feel like maybe someone close to her has died. Got or gotten murdered. You know the footprints from earlier? They were in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh yeah. Hajime and Kazuichi's footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. Hmm. These footprints are just the opposite. They're coming from out of the beach house. Hmm. That makes sense. Because you, you can get in and out of the beach house through two different doors. Hey. Now that you mentioned it, I thought those footprints were strange too. Uh. At first, I tried to go with the, the beach house from the door facing the road, but it didn't open, so I went around. Oh, if we tried to open that door, would we have. Would it have been locked? Because I didn't do that. I went around the whole thing because I wasn't sure if the murder happened on the beach itself or that. Huh. I can go inside from the roadside door. Oh, uh, door because my hero's body was blocking it, right? Oh, that would make sense. That would track, actually. Hmm. And that's when I noticed those footprints. Also, I don't think her body weighs enough to really impede the door if it's not locked. Just thought. Footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they belong to one person. So footprints leading out of the beach house, that's definitely which would mean... Hmm. Huh? Echo said she went... No... No, 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 the footprints are easily Hiyoki's, but still, that doesn't help because I really don't think she did it. I think it's too obvious that she did it. Maybe. Is that really true? But still. Footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. I was swimming at the beach, of course. The footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. Whose footprints are those? Are these? No mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue. It's. Who do you. Yeah, 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 that's. Are we not? Uh, Kazuichi and Hajime need to put this together now. This can't come about in the trial. We need to talk to her. Map, the map, the map. Okay, so we're here. Kane's outside. Oh, no, she's in the shower room. And nothing else matters. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, so metal bat. Yeah, 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 obviously. Yep. The same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Ah. Well. There's a girl named Girl E who was killed in the game during the fourth day. 
Yeah, we saw this. The girl was killed with blood. Is that a photo? Uh, from Metal Bad, just like my hero. Oh, did you play the game? Did you also play the game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about the Metal Bad? Yeah, it's exactly it, but did you play it too? I'm sure you know this, but the case is strongly connected to the Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. We probably need to solve that game's mystery too. Even if you solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it would last you. Oh, there was a janitor. There was. Hmm. Yeah. What's wrong? You haven't beaten the game. Hmm. I finished the game with the game over, but you were able to beat it. Mm -hmm. Not some girl gamer who talks about video games she's never beaten. Oh. <laughs> Look at her face. So what am I supposed to do to actually beat the game? I can't stop thinking about that. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Very interesting. Oh, oh, sorry. I completely went over that, all that. She's lost all life in her body. It's as if she's a shell. This is really the energetic Mahiru I know. I see her laying down in front of me, but I can't believe it. It's not butter. <laughs> I can't believe it's not Mondo. <laughs> can't connect this life, this body to the high-spirited Mahiru. But we don't have time to wallow in sentiment. No way I could just stand here. I slap both hands onto my cheeks and face Mahiru's body one more time. Leaning against the beach door. Shalina, it would have been impossible to open. She tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to... Is it really as obvious as her killing her? Because, I mean... No, there's a missing link. Someone's got to be here. Alright. Uh, once we talk to her, we'll get more information. Mask. What's this? Is this a mask? Someone bring this from the toy section? Maybe party goods. Why is it here? Obviously the killer- yeah. It's like such a gaudy mask. Um. A gaudy mask? Huh? That mask? Have you seen this? Sun with Chesperito! It's a super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 90% in my country! An anime that has a viewership of over 90% in Sony's country really alright? <laughs> could it be? That with that mask placed next to the body? That's true, could it be? Then what? I am sorry. Please give me some time! Hmm. Huh. I feel like Sonia's gonna have some really good information for us. If that's the case, I shall wait until she decides to talk about it. Great movie. So, so Sonia would be so worked up, it must be something big. I wonder what she knows. Pretty anime girl mask. Cool. Oh, the shower room's next. Okay, and Akane is in the shower room, so I'm sure there's clues to be found in there. Of course, for now, I think this is a great time to end this off. Trial time, or investigation time, and then trial! So, I can't wait for that. As always, thanks so much, so much for watching. Make sure to like this video. If you like this video, subscribe if you haven't. Smack the bell so you never miss a thing. And consider supporting me on Patreon. Shoutouts to Bladed Cross, who is a Patreon supporter. And I'll see you all in the next one. This is Dave out. Peace out. There's been a murder.